Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to create this very simple CSS3 preloader. Okay, so this preloader can be used to enhance the user experience by displaying it before loading of any heavy web contents. So it is very simple to create. So let's get started and see how to create it. So here I am in my text editor and I have already created two files. First one is index.html file and second one is main.css file. My main.css file is linked to this HTML file so that all these styles that I write is goes to this main.css file and apply to this HTML document. Okay, so main.css file already contains a very basic CSS styles so that it set width and height of body element to 100% and it sets uh, overflow property to hidden so that scroll bars do not display while our preloader is lo uh, displaying okay so let's open index.html file and here I gonna create a div with a class of spinner so uh, spinner okay now let's split our window so that we can see both text editor and browser both at the same time and now let's open main.css file and in the main.css file i gonna target spinner class and i gonna give it a width of 80 pixels and height of 80 pixels so that it looks like a scale okay and let's give it a border and i gonna give it a border of two pixels solid uh, f3 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 it's something like gray okay and also let's center this scare into the browser so let's position it absolutely and set its top property to zero bottom to zero left to zero and right to zero and apply margin property to auto so that it will be centered now okay and let's apply a top property border top property to this scare so i'm gonna apply border top and give it a width of three pixels solid pound f 25a41 okay and we wanna make this scare to looks like a circle to do that i gonna use border radius property of css3 so give it a border radius property value to 100 percent and now it will look like a circle okay now just one more thing left to do we want to create a anim an animation to make this preloader looks like a real animated preloader okay so let's do that i gonna write at keyframes name of the animation i gonna give it a name of spin start curly braces basically what we have to do here we have to rotate our element to do that we're gonna use the transform property of css3 so from keyword uh, from let's give it a transform property and rotate to zero degree so we're gonna rotate it from zero degree to two property and 360 degree so let's write transform rotate 360 degree okay uh, let's like this okay oh sorry now that we have to apply this animation to our spinner class to do that we can simply use the animation property and again i am not using any vendor prefixes uh, like moz or webkit because all these properties are supported in all the modern browsers okay so let's give the name of animation which is spin let's give it a time one second and let's specify the infinite so that it start loading and now you can see that it's much like a 
CSS preloader and but it's not easing properly so let's specify it's linear and now you can see that it's much more subtle and uh, it's looking better than previous so guys you have seen how to create this preloader so guys if you like this video please hit like to this video and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to help me grow thank you for watching bye bye take care